Raging rivers and overflowing brooks and streams leading to many scenes just like this one. Hoses and pumps humming all over Winchester, which sits along the Ashwillet River in some areas. This is the canteen at VFW Post 3968. This morning about 5 o'clock it started coming into the building and we've had volunteers here since then vacuuming up water and getting it out of the inside. Out back, what looks like a lake is normally grass. This morning, the fire department helped put sandbags at doors around the building to help slow down the flooding. It's reminiscent of another flood for quartermaster Jim Harrison. 84 was the worst for a long time. The VFW even marks that flood's high waters with this plaque in the basement. At the Sheridan House Museum, a historical society. We had probably four or five inches of rain uh, collected down there, water coming in. Pumps and hoses cleaning out their basement too. Luckily, they don't keep historical artifacts down there. Nearby businesses in Kulix Mall also cleaning up from behind a wall of sandbags, the parking lot underwater. We're all going to grow webbed feet here if we uh, if this keeps up much longer. So we got to tell Kevin Scarupa to change the forecast if he has any magical powers <laughs> at all. Unfortunately, the forecast did change a bit today. The sun finally coming out, helping people who are cleaning up out of all of that rain this weekend. Meantime in Jaffrey, state and local officials are now working with FEMA to schedule a damage assessment soon there. Live in Swansea, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.